something that's and we've angled it off a little bit by this adjuster so that one side of the wheel is a little bit more nonlinear than the other side of the wheel. And you can see that if you get alongside this wheel. This is exactly how the coils are arranged. Why, um, wh wh why did you want that non-linearity? Because I want the magnet to switch itself. Okay. And about how many degrees of, of angle did you put on the base plate? On which plate? On, on this plate. You say this is, this is adjusted down like this. Right. Well, about half, half about degree, no degree? no no about three degrees. Oh, that much. Yeah, three degrees because we want we want this wave to show up. We we want to be it, we want the the magnetic material to go around in a nonlinear fashion. Okay. And it's going to be more like an ocean wave when it goes around. It's going to have a high and a low, and it's going to keep doing that. Wow. All right. Very subtle. Yeah, very subtle. We want to mix this. Now, what you're seeing right here is this timing plate without the magnets on it. It's facing this direction. All right. So you can see how we've wired these coils. We've taken the two bottoms of these two and put them together. And we've taken the, the two tops of these two and put them together. And we've taken the two bottoms of these two and put them together. And we've done that all the way around the wheel. Okay, now, now what we've done after we built our magnetic disc, and we, we, because it, as I said earlier, we want these magnetic fields to be concentrated in one area and not quite as much in the other area. So we want the magnet to be its magnetic field to be shaped in a non-linear fashion so that it can switch. Here's in this circle, see the dots? That's where we know there's 10 positions. So we're only going to use five of these positions because we only want to cause the non-linear on the north poles. Because when the magnet flips, when it shakes, and the barium changes, we want the motor force for free, which means zero current on the meter that you're looking at. And that means that this motor has given it a little trigger signal to flip the magnet. And we want this to be sucked in because we want it in a traction. That's free for the taking when you're in attraction. When you're in repulsion, it costs you energy. Yeah. We want it to be sucked in to this nonlinear field. And then we want the magnet to flip back the other direction. And we want to add that pulse again. So that's why we've done north-south poles, or we would have done all north poles. Yeah. Because it's typical of the type of generators that we do. Now, I'm going to bring up a very important point here. I want everybody to understand. This was my original motor, but see, Jim Watson discovered the arrangement a little bit different. And how you can tell that he discovered the arrangement a little bit different is, see, these aren't in line with the magnets. They're advancing. So he's creating that nonlinear field. Those are barium ferrite ring speaker magnets. Okay. Um, as I said, this is exactly what's inside the machine. And these are the hookup wires to the rectifiers for the back pulse. That captures it, right? right? And that goes back down to that capacitor that you see in the machine. And this is the input to it where the, where the, uh, the power is going to come in. Right. So that's going to be tied right here. 
and then the wires are going to come out here and come through a hole, which you can see in the machine. And that's the switch. That's the Bedini coal switch that's going to generate this little bitty spike to switch these. And that's the number of turns. 2,206 turns of number 18 wire, every one. That's a pretty good one because you can see we're hooking up the wires. Right. Okay, in this picture, you can see that we're hooking up generator wire mm -hmm. coming out of here and input wire to get the little impulse spike. Right. And that's going to be triggered by this device, which is already hooked into the switch in this red and white and black wire that's coming around here and ending up at the hall. Okay. In this picture here, um, David Luke is machining another one of these timing plates for smaller magnets because we found that using this these bigger magnets that we overlap the fields that we wanted to have work for us. Better picture of it. There's a little bit better picture of it being very close to finished. So anyway, Pat, this was for Tom Bearden. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Tom. Yeah. And here's your machine. Uh, I'm sure he's, this is the best birthday present he could get, probably. Hope so. Yeah, because it's, it's all his years of work. Yes, it's right there in front of everybody. Right. It's metered. Nobody touches anything. You can look at all the wires. Everything's on the top, exposed. You can watch the battery. By the way, this is a 43.8 right now. Yeah. <laughs> so it's almost at 44 volts, mm -hmm. which is... That's skipped up six volts. Yes, just like that. Yeah. And that is what I want to tell everybody is energy from the vacuum if you do this right. Yeah. So... Yeah, it definitely vindicates yeah. all Tom's... It, it vindicates Validates his life's validate work. It. Yeah. In free energy. Or what he terms free energy. It isn't free. Right. In the term that because it costs to do all this. Right. <laughs> so But you're not you're not on a meter. But I'm not right, I'm not on a meter. And I'm not burning gobs amount of fuel yeah. to turn this mass. See right now this could be paint pumping water for me. Yeah. So in the end, Pat, whether it's aluminum, wood, whatever, cardboard, if that's all you had, it would do the same thing. Yeah. 44. Yeah. So happy birthday, Tom. <laughs> you can see them, they're half inch buttons. Oh, okay. They go across the switch and it, you see these dots? You know what, now, um, okay, yeah, that's on the north yeah, pole. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so when, it come, when a dot comes across this pole, it switches on. And when the coil collapses in the re-gauge mode between the metal, it sucks it into the next thing, which adds the torque. So this is, it's, this is sucking it around? Right now. Yes. Yeah, yeah the, in their pie shape. See? So that's, that's the radius thing? Yes. Yes, that's, what, that's the radius thing. Yeah, yeah that's a, a radius motor. Yeah, that's the radius motor right there. Right there, that's a radius re-gauge motor.